Hello guys. So, today is going to be an inbox review of the Chieftain Mark V from Taycom in 135 scale. Uh, I've never built a model from Taycom and I thought I'd give this one a try. It had, uh, it has a lot of parts so I expect something good out of it. Mm. So please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. So here, here is uh, the Chief from Mark V from Taycom. I never built anything from Taycom, but this looked like a nice kit, so I got it. Box art looks pretty good. A burning building back there and a burning tank back there. <laughs> Real war zone. I know about those. open this one I actually bought new something different for me comes with photo itch Oh, we have a very big color chart with a lot of different versions here. We have a, this one's beige and green. This is warm sand. This one's just beige from the red. This one is beige, it's also from Iran. The third one is beige and brown, it's from Iran. This one is beige. I'm not sure what country that is, it's a rabbit country. This is uh, from Operation Desert Storm in beige, from Kuwait. This is Berlin. The city camouflage. Looks kind of cool, actually. The uh, colors it shows are for MIG color. I can get MIG color, but they are, to me, expensive. Can't really afford them. So I use Ravel Humbrol Model, Model Master when I can get Model Master. So what we have here, it's all gray plastic, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sprues. Here are the whole parts separate, a photo edge as well in a decal sheet. This is gun mask, gun mask and poly caps. A lot of parts. Start with the suspension. It has separate rings for the uh, rubber to make it a lot easier to paint. Sprockets. Suspension. Putting pieces on the hull. And assembly of the hull. Here's the back. Detail parts, some track. The barrel for the barrel to hold it. Toolbox. Detail on the front with the lights and everything. The towing eyes, driver's hatch. It's the middle, it's in the middle, like on Abrams. You can do open or closed. It's 
toolbox, uh, some deck, plate de uh, deck plates, towing cable, skirts, some more boxes, storage boxes, and here's the, the back of the deck. Same thing. The other side with the boxes and the skirts. Starting with the turret, one of the hatches, be the loader's hatch, commander's the commander cupola, and storage, and the plate for the ammo. It looks like they may have these ammo, like the Abrams, where they blow up. No, blow, blow out, blow out panels. Yeah, that's what they were. The commander's hatch. Storage. It's for the antenna. Here's the bottom plate in for the the gun tube. Here we are assembling the gun tube and putting it on. Looks like a I don't I don't know what the British uh, equivalent to a fifty cal is, but it looks like about the same size. And it's definitely for the commander. We have a bustle. Bustle that comes in storage. There's a lot of bustle, a lot of storage and bustles and stuff like that. Oh, and then final assembly, putting the turret onto the the hole. Then we have a nice little color chart on the back with a couple of other uh, kits from Tecom. The instruction sheet looks good. The painting chart looks good. Here we have the PE, the photo etch. And it's just mainly, there's some small parts here, handles. But most of it is the netting for the, uh, for the bustles and stuff. For the, for the grill. So here's the hole. Get it out of the pipe. Here. So there's a lot of pin marks on the inside. No problem. It won't be seen. The casting on the outside looks really good. It's not smooth, which means it'll hold pink better. It's only sm it's it is sm here sm it's smooth here, so I would sand this part down a little bit, so it holds the paint. Some good detail here. You see, there's a, you see the bolts here on top of all these pieces. The bolt holes are there. And you also have un underneath the uh, the drain ports. And the big plate here, I'm not sure what that is. It's a drain port in the front, too. At the top of the turret. Top of the turret. Top of the hull. It's a lot of detail. It looks really good, I think. Except for here. I don't know. There's writing here. Is there a writing on a Centurion, a real one? We didn't have anything like that on the Abrams. Not like that. It says... FHL or AFV469251. Oh yeah, that sounds 
I know FV469251, that sounds like the, uh, those numbers that they use for the British vehicles. So maybe that is right. There's locator holes here for stuff. And, and here, the grills look really good, I think. They're not solid. They're see-through. Can't really see through them. Yeah, they look like they look see through, but they're not. Could be my eyes too. My eyes are terrible. Eyes playing tricks on me. Here, this will be the J sprue. I'm just doing them as I get them out of here. They're all wrapped in separate plastic. A lot of good detail here, I think. And it's not the smooth plastic like in a lot of tanks. This is a textured. It's textured, more like a, the metal on a tank, really. There's a, a marking here, but it's it's flat. You can barely even see it in the light, even in the light. The parts look really good. Bolts, bolts on the plates, bolts on the top here, and the hatch. You see, it's this would be on the loader side, and you can tell it's meant to be closed. And there's no detail on the underside, so you can't leave the loader. The loader side you can't leave open, at least. No. One of the trees has clear parts, so this will be all the uh, all the periscopes. And here's a round, clear round part. And that's a fuel, one of the fuel uh, fuel door to fill the fuel up. Well, I don't know why it would be in a clear part. All the periscopes in clear plastic. That's cool. Because there should be, when you look at the, on a, on a real tank, uh, the periscopes, they have like this shine to them. And it depends. Sometimes they shine like a bluish color, and sometimes they're like a reddish color. Uh, on, on, the, on the Abrams, it was, uh, on the, all the tanks I've seen, it was like that. How is this in here? I'll just cut the back out. One of these days I'll get all the stuff built. Okay, on top of the turret. And here's for the for the gun. It's it's uh the same material as the polycaps, so it's flexible. The gun metal. That's cool. It's really cool. Usually you get plastic gun metals and they're not flexible at all. Top of the turret, same textured plastic. Good detail. I think it looks pretty good. Here you have a couple of the rings here. Even here. And even underneath here is some good detail, even though you won't even see that part. Here's the track, and I'm not going to take it. Uh, I'll take one piece out so we can see it closer. Okay, I'll take it out like that. <laughs> Pretty good. Has the whole holes for the teeth of the sprocket. The center guide. And even a bolt. There are some. Not exactly sure what it is here. Looks like somebody tried to glue it together already. 
Yeah, that's, that's from glue. Hmm. They look pretty good. I think poly caps too for the road wheels. These, these then are the track pads. It comes with separate, separate track pads. So you have to paint the track pads. You can, you can weather the track metal and paint the track pads rubber and glue them on. It was it with so many pieces. It's a lot, but still, it's better, I think. For detail purposes, it's better. Mm -hmm. and good grills, has good textures to it. You see the latches? Parts look good. Can't say I'm disappointed with this kit. We ain't even, haven't even got through half the parts. A lot of parts, so in some good detail. I think. Here's a gun barrel. It's a two-part, as you can see. It has this cloth texture. It's the same, same kind of covering as the was on the Challenger. I used to have a Challenger too model but it was ruined the back plate for the the back of the tank looks good too and the back of the hole the cables look pretty good too for plastic it looks pretty good i think Has a lot of trees to it. A lot of trees. And here's a part that's loose. It goes here. Commander's cupola. Looks good too. Holes for the periscopes. It looks like it has some roughness to it. The grenade launchers look pretty good too. The covers for the sprockets or for for the for the uh, driving arm. Not sure which one, but you see good bolt holes all around it. Here too. Mm. They paid. It looks like they paid a lot of attention attention to detail on this kit. Here latches for the for the boxes. Even small bolt holes here.
last two trees look like a lot of suspension parts. All the road wheels. These are the, the rubber pieces. See all the bolts around the inside of the sprocket. Even on this side are, 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 are bolts for it. You can see all the bolts good here as well on the road wheels. Support roller as well. Bolt holes. Here as well, here as well. Looks like a pretty maintenance intensive track uh, suspension system actually. These large springs. I'm saying this is my first take home kit. I really, uh, I'm impressed with it. Um, it wasn't that expensive. I've seen more expensive dragon kits. And it costs about twenty dollars twenty euros less than a dragon kit. But it has a lot of detail in it. So I would definitely of course I don't know how it's gonna to fit together. That we'll have to see later next year. Uh, but I would say take home makes good stuff. Good kit. And uh, I would recommend this. This chief, uh, chieftain. Uh, there's, a, there's an, also another take home kit on my wish list. And it's also an, another British tank. But I do recommend this kit. And uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.